This is the tune leaf. It goes by a bunch of different names. One of them is the beef and onion plant. Now I've been really excited to try this out ever since I saw a Weird Explorer give it a try. I contacted Wonderlust Nursery to see if they could send me some and Wonderlust incredibly agreed to send me over uh, what they had. One, this is currently out of season. So if you want the leaf, you're gonna have to buy a seed from Wonderlust and let it grow. Uh, but I just wanted to give it a try. I guess you need to kind of cook it to really get like the beef flavor. Uh, but from what I understand, you can kind of get that beef flavor just by eating it raw. It's got a beefy yeah. flavor. It's mild. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it has a beefy flavor. And Tastes a leafy like... flavor. Leafy beefy. A <laughs> leafy beefy <laughs> flavor? It does. Okay, leafy and beefy. Mm -hmm. Thanks, baby. It's really mild. It definitely has like that vegetable taste, but it does have a beef flavor. Almost kind of like the taste of like a Burger King burger. Let's get going. Let's see if we can extract these flavors into an oil and turn it into an incredible tasting plant-based burger. Okay, so we have our pile of tune leaves here. We don't have very much. Tune leaves are known as a spring plant from what I understand. And so these leaves were gathered by Matt over at Wanderlust Nursery. Matt also sent me another leaf, which I cannot wait to show you. That's gonna come in a few weeks. Uh, that leaf is going to blow your minds just as much as this one does. If you wanna get any of these, make sure you head over. The link is gonna be in the description. They're a mail order plant nursery. They offer like very rare and unusual edible plants. Wonderless sells both seeds and live plants and they ship around the US. So let's get moving. First thing that we're gonna do is we're going to remove the leaves off the stems. We're just gonna de-stem them really quick. There's some brown ones in here. I think that's just from shipping and the fact that they are out of season, but that's okay. Uh, I would say if I were to do this for like a full extraction, not just for this test, that I would probably want about three or four full cups of leaves. Uh, that's okay, again, this is just a test. I really just wanna see if I can extract these flavors to really make this taste like a burger. So first things first, we're just gonna give these a pretty rough chop. I'm pretty happy with the way that that looks here. I think that's a good mince a good chomp. Now with most organic compounds like a leaf or something like that, uh, the best way to extract flavors or extract properties is through an oil extraction. That's gonna be really simple. I'm gonna use coconut oil, it's a very low smoke point, uh, but it does have a nice fat ratio so it should pull out some of these flavors. So we're gonna throw about a quarter cup of coconut oil into a saucepan on a very low, kind of low medium heat. Uh, we don't wanna fry the leaves, we just want them to slightly simmer uh, in the oil. Uh, once the oil comes up the heat, it has a nice shimmer to it, go ahead and throw the leaves in and give it a constant stir for about 20 to 25 minutes. At that point, you should be able to kind of pull your spatula off, let the oil cool down just a bit, give the oil a taste and see what kind of flavor you have. I just took that off of the heat. Uh, wow, it does everything kind of smell pretty beefy in here. It's a little wild about how beefy that smells. I gave it a little taste just to kind of see and it still has that like same almost like Burger King style burger taste. It really does taste meaty. It's really shocking. Let's put together a TVP burger, just something really simple. We're not gonna throw a ton of ingredients in it. We just need a binder, a base, and a color, and then I'll throw that in as the flavor. So we're only making a small portion of the burger because we don't really have that much toon leaf. So we're gonna do a half of a cup of TVP, two tablespoons pea protein powder, about a half of a tablespoon of methyl cellulose. I'm gonna do just a little bit more than half of a tablespoon because a smaller amount, it might not bind together a little, really well. Half teaspoon beetroot powder. So I know this oil won't emulsify that well because of all of the leaf, which we're gonna keep in there. I want those leaves in there. It's gonna add, you know, just more of the flavor to it. Uh, but we're just gonna drop this leaves. I have about a little, a little less than a half of a cup of water. Now this has cooled down, but we're just gonna drop that oil into the water and then give it a nice little stir. Again, it won't emulsify. We just wanna get the water mixed through the leaf as much as possible. The leaf should help it mix up. At this point, we just need to mix our toon leaf oil and water mixture together with the TVP. This is the mixture that we have so far. It's looking kind of meaty. It does smell a little meaty. It does have that meaty smell. So I'm just gonna throw a lid on this, let it hydrate up for about the next 20 or 30 minutes. Uh, that's gonna allow the TVP, the methyl cellulose and everything to kind of suck in all those liquids and fats and all that flavor. Remember, all of the flavor in this burger is gonna come from the tune leaf. Uh, once this is done with 20 minutes, we'll just go ahead and form it into some burger patties. I'm just gonna season it with some basic salt and pepper, throw it in the frying pan. We're gonna fry that up for just a few minutes. I mean, look at the way these things sizzle. Awesome. 
Uh, once that's all fried up, we're just gonna throw it on a bun. I'm gonna eat it very plain. I just wanna see if this has a burger taste. <laughs> I mean, look at this thing. Look at it. So excited about this burger. Now we know TVP makes a really good burger with its binders and everything, and we know that we get a good color out of the beetroot, but can we extract those beefy flavors from Toon Leaf to make a good tasting burger? Wow, that was unbelievable. Now from the amount of Toon Leaf that I had and the oil that I had, I was able to extract enough flavor to flavor enough oil to make about two burgers. Mm. I know if I were to do it again, I would double up the amount of Toon Leaf to really get that flavor and I would remove the leaf from the oil. I'd really extract it, probably run it through like a sieve, like a, like a nut milk bag or something, maybe even blend the mixture, um, and then maybe even emulsify the mixture like I emulsify my fat pucks. This was really just a test to see if we could get that flavor, and we could. That is wild.